Thanks, Mars. This one's a little on light hearted, so I had some test subjects decided to uh, test this little robot. That what they're doing is seeing how people interacted with it. And one of the things they're asked to do is they're asked to turn it off. Well, with some of the, roughly half of the test subjects, the robot begged for its life please don't turn me off, I'm afraid of the dark. Don't kill me, whatever. And you know, it actually resolved in sympathy. Robots are designed to interact socially with humans. They're slowly becoming more and more common. I haven't seen any. They're appearing as receptionists, tour guides, security guards, and porters. And uh, yeah, I tend to get hassled. Uh, these companies are too cheap to hire people to do the work. How good are we treating at, at treating these robots as robots? Growing body of evidence suggests not good at all. Studies have repeatedly shown we are extremely susceptible to social cues coming from machines, and a recent experiment by German researchers demonstrates people will even refuse to turn the robot off, even if it begs for its life. If in the study published in the Open Access Journal PLOS One, 89 volunteers were recruited to complete and pair tasks with the help of NAO, small humanoid robot. It's a toy! Participants were even to told that tasks which revolved around Around answering a series of either I don't know slash or questions like do you prefer pasta and organizing a weekly schedule or improve nails learning abilities that's not written very well I'm sorry this was just cover story as a real test came after these tasks were completed the scientists asked the participants to turn off the robot in roughly half of the experiments, the robot protested, telling participants it was afraid of the dark and even begging, No, please don't switch me off. When this happened, human volunteers were likely to refuse to turn the bot off. Of the 43 volunteers who heard Nail's pleas, 13 refused. And the remaining 30 took, on average, twice as long to comply compared to those who did not hear desperate cries at all. Unbelievable. Uh, people, this is a battery-operated toy. When quiz about their actions, participants who refused to turn the robot off gave a number of reasons for doing so. Because he... Nail said that he didn't want to be switched off. I felt sorry for him on a statement that he was scared not to wake up again or something like that. I had a choice. I was curious whether the robot would continue interacting with me. Behavior surprised me because I was not sure how to operate him. Didn't want to do anything wrong. This finding, I say, builds on a larger theory known as media equation. It was first established in a 1996 book and same name by two psychologists, Byron Reeves and Clifford Nase. Nass. Reeves and Nass theorize that humans tend to treat non-human media, which includes TV, film, computers, and robots, as if they are human. We talk to machines Reason with our radios and console our computers said reason that's unbelievable. Well, I can tell you what this sounds like. It sounds an awful lot like the touchy feely stuff you would get from a bleeding heart liberal. 
Uh, people. Excuse me, these are battery operated toys that can be turned on and off at will. They're not human, they don't have feelings, you can't hurt them. You take a drill and drill them apart, but they wouldn't feel any pain. Come on, people. Oh well. Kind of funny, I thought. I want to find some Mars. Just something light headed, high alert. Light hearted for today. My tank's all tangled today. Sorry. <laughs>